Welcome back to Pearl TVSC. We have Aaron Hall, who is the Chief Development Officer for Hopeful Horizons with us this afternoon. Hello, Aaron. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me on today. Absolutely. Absolutely. This organization, it seems like you all do some really, really amazing work. Can you tell us a little bit about it for people that may not know what Hopeful Horizons does? Sure. So we work with victims of child abuse, domestic violence, and sexual assault. And we, our main office is in Beaufort, but we serve Beaufort County, Colleton County, Jasper, Hampton, and Allendale. So a five county area in the low country. Okay. And how many children do you help on a typical year? I, I know this year has been a little different. It's, it is difficult. We're actually pulling together some of those numbers now. Um, we saw overall, we saw about 1,100 clients last year. So that's um, children, teens, and adults. And it's down probably by about 20% from what we normally see. And we we feel, unfortunately, feel quite certain that that is due to so many folks being at home during the pandemic and just not being able to get services. Right. And so the pandemic, I know there's been so many concerns with, especially in the beginning with kids not going to school, you know, the whistleblowers weren't there, right? And, and they couldn't get away from their abusers. Yes, you're exactly right. The, you know, the, the school, the teachers and other personnel at schools are such a huge um, reporter of child abuse. And I think as a community, we rely on teachers to have eyes on those kids every day. And that was very different last year. So we have a lot of victims who were stranded at home with an abuser, both child abuse, domestic violence, and sexual assault. So we feel like our um, the number of folks we will be treating is certainly going to go up at some point later this year. How can we support this mission? I mean, it is so important what you all are doing. I think, do you have a few fundraisers coming up? We do. And the, the main goal is awareness. So raising awareness about what happens in your community and being able to share with victims that you can call Hopeful Horizons. We are here to help. So one of the ways we're going to raise awareness is with our annual Race for Love. This is our 10th year with this. Event. Congratulations. It is, thank you. We are normally this event is on a Saturday morning. Um, we have a great time. We are going to we are going to rethink it a little bit this year. So on as everyone has February 19th, we will have a walk for love in downtown Beaufort. Okay. And then on Saturday morning will be our 5K for runners. So that's Saturday, February 20th um, at Cat Island. Okay. Really looking forward to it. And how do people, you know, sign up and get donations to support their walk or their run? Is that how you raise money? You know what? We keep it really simple. So it is just a registration fee. So okay. um, if anyone is interested, they can go to race love.com So the four is the number four, Race for Love. Um, it is $35 for the run. It is $30 for the walk, $5 for kids. And if you want to do either the race or the walk virtually, it's $25. Okay. So we just keep it really simple for folks. And we'll definitely make sure we have all that information up on the screen for sure. Um, I know that, you know, you said that DSS and law enforcement are really, because it's, it's, if you know something that's happening or, you know, if you, if you feel like a child is being abused, what is the best thing to do? If you see this in your community or if you see, you know, obviously the teachers are trained for it and the law enforcement, God forbid something happened, but what if I notice something in my neighborhood? What, what do we do? Sure. So the, the best thing to do is call DSS and report it. And you can go to the DSS website and find that number um, to make that call. It can be an anonymous call. Um, and I, I think, too, just, you know, keep an, keep an eye on, on things. If you have concerns about a child, um, you know, pay attention. Uh, but we, we do a lot of prevention programs as well. And one of the things that we always say is, if you see something, say something. Um, it's true. important that if your gut is wrong, you need to say something. That's exactly right. For and, sure. you, you know, we've seen a lot of stories in the last couple of years mm -hmm. about, um, you know, a waitress who thought something might be wrong and she went with her gut and she was right. Um, there was a case out of Florida just recently and, and she did the right thing and, 
same with like human trafficking and I mean all of those abuse, I mean all of those different well, give us, I mean, like your name, Hopeful Horizons. I'm sure that as hard as this job is, it's very rewarding. What's the most rewarding part of what you do? I think watching kids graduate from therapy is one of my favorite things about Hopeful Horizons. Is awesome. As horrible as the abuse is, we have the privilege of seeing kids come out on the other side and seeing families heal and come together. Um, you, and that, you know... It makes it fun to go to work when you get to see that every day. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Erin. Um, we are really, really privileged to have you, and thank you for the good work that you all do. And we'll be sure to put the information about these two events, um, again, up on the screen. So thanks. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.